we have said that there are elements in these LAD laws such as anti-association. So basically being um, associated with someone uh, could attract mandatory 15 years imprisonment, not because you have committed any particular criminal offence, but simply because you are associating with someone who may have committed a criminal offence. So there are elements like the anti-association provisions. Uh, there is mandatory sentencing, which we have said all along uh, we don't agree with. But importantly, there are academics, there are um, people in the legal profession, there are uh, people in the community who have said for the last couple of years that these laws have been introduced, they go too far. You know, recreational motorcyclists should be able to uh, jump on their bikes and go up the coast with their friends for a weekend and not feel harassed because that's what these laws led to. As far as Labor's priorities, though, we've made it very clear uh, that we want to establish a commission of inquiry into organised crime and at the same time we want to establish a high-level task force to review uh, what is known uh, as the bikey laws. These laws are there, they will be enforced, uh, but we will be looking at these laws to actually create better laws. And in fact, we uh, will recommend to the task force that they look at developing a new chapter to go into the criminal code that actually has p higher penalties. So the most serious offences of organised crime are attracting up to a life sentence. One of the flaws with the bikey laws is that it was looking at uh, the criminal bikey organisations where we know and, uh, you know, the evidence we have is that, you know, criminal organised or organised crime is much, much broader than that. And with technology uh, evolving the way it is, criminal organisations are evolving with that technology. Police have to have the powers to keep up with that. You know, we look at the importation of drugs, the manufacture and distribution of drugs within our communities. Uh, we look at more and more organised crime coming into the internet, uh, child exploitation, all of those sorts of things. So there's so many different links when you talk about organised crime that we want to look at it in a holistic way.